In the last um, video tutorial we looked at normalizing negative and positive numbers to increase accuracy and to make sure that no numbers were repeated. In this one we're going to look at the range of numbers. Now in this case we're dealing with floating point numbers so we have the normal range that's the maximum num value, the minimum value and then the um, that's a negative value there and then we have the uh, the smallest magnitude of number which is the closest number to zero and the closest positive number to zero and remember that the less there there is in a fractional number so if we've got a half then that is not as close to zero as a quarter because there's less of it and of course that is um, even further that is even smaller number so there's hardly any of it and then we get ridiculous we can go up to a massive number like that and then there's hardly anything there basically and similarly on the other side the closer we are the largest no, the larger the number on um, the here the larger the number here the um, nearer it is to zero so then what we know then is that we have in our 8-bit system we have numbers that represent the um, mantissa so we've got uh, minus one and then we've got a half and we've got a quarter and we've got an eighth this is in a 4-bit system and then we know in the exponent we've got a minus 8, a 4, a 2 and a 1. So in order to drive um, a number to its maximum we must have a normalized number that we can put in that will give you the maximum value um, here. So what we've got to do is have the maximum value we can put a positive value we can put in a mantissa which is that number there now because we want to shift it the maximum amount of places we need the maximum value in here now I've done the calculation on that and if we shift all those bits that way that's actually seven places we can work it out as a hundred and twelve so this up here would be a hundred and twelve in fact I'll just lower that down a bit there so you can see it so the maximum number is a hundred and twelve now the minimum um, negative there um, would be we've got to make a negative number so we've got to have a normal that is normalized by the way because there is a zero and a one uh, there so that's a normalized uh, positive number so what we have to do now is we have to have a number that is as small as possible so we want to drive it as far that way as we can okay so to maximize it but we want a really small um, number so what we would do is we put that there 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 and there and that would drive it the other way which would mean the number would now become minus one two eight because if we drive it that way forward and keep the one there okay we can move the decimal point from here seven times that way and that will always be that magnitude will increase 
You drive it one place, it becomes minus 2, minus 4, minus 8, minus 16, minus 32, minus 64, and minus 128. So in seven moves, it goes up to minus 128. So now we've got the number minus 128. Now it becomes a bit trickier when we get around this figure here. So we'll deal with the positive one first. In order to get the maximum positive number, we need to um, drive it nearer to the zero. For in this case, we need uh, to push the range the other way. So basically, we need a more fractional value. So we do that. The furthest we can push it towards the zero will be uh, with a minus eight. So now what we need to do is if we're going to find a positive number that's nearest to the zero is we have to arrange the numbers so that it's normalized. Okay. So it's always got to be like that. And then we have to have um, a number that's very close. And I've uh, been experimented here and I found out that that's the closest number that I can get um, to zero, which happens to be 1 over uh, f um, 1 over 512. Now the other way is a bit more tricky. And I've, I noticed in mathematics that if I flip those bits there, okay, that by chance gives me um, a number which is minus 2 over 8 one nine. Now, what I want you to do is to go to the binary um, calculator that's on Moodle and you will find um, on there a four bit two complement, um, a four bit uh, floating point number for the mantissa and exponent and I want you to try to prove that there and see if I'm right. If I'm wrong, then I want you to email me um, to see if you can get a smaller number or any of these values different if you use a four bit mantissa and a four bit exponent. Okay. Good luck in trying to prove me wrong.